Now we will solve real world problem. We will use slope to graph a line. Mariam is designing a park using grid paper. She wants to build a sidewalk that connects with the fountain at P 0, 1 and is perpendicular to the existing sidewalk that passes through the points Q and R. Graph the line that represents the new sidewalk. So what it says is, see this is a fountain. You can see the fountain over here, a small one. At this point, P of 0, 1. And there is an existing sidewalk at Q and R. These are the points. And then there is a new sidewalk that is, uh, I mean, the new sidewalk to be built from the fountain which touches over here, which will be perpendicular. So this is what it says. So you, you need to draw this line. Basically, you need to find the slope of the sidewalk. That is what it's uh, what is required. But we do not know the slope of this line. So first we will find the slope of this sidewalk. Th that is this line. So now what we do is use the slope formula and find. Over here, this is x1, y1, x2, y2. And substitute and you will get the slope. Even if you interchange this, say for example, I take this as x1, y1, this as x2, y2, you will get the same answer. No worries. But over here, generally the first point is q, so x1, y1, this is x2, y2. So y2 is minus 6, minus, minus 2. And over here, x2 is 0, minus negative 6. Put it in the calculator, you will get the answer minus 2 by 3. What next? Find the new slope of this. Uh, find the slope of the new sidewalk. Now we know that must it must be perpendicular. So what do we know about perpendicular lines? If there are perpendicular lines, when we multiply the slopes, they will be negative one. I'm so sorry. This must be minus one. I missed out the negative sign. I will change it in a while. So now. What do we know? When we multiply the slopes, it must be minus 1. We know one slope. So, another slope is unknown. Let's take it as m. Multiply it with minus 2, you must get negative 1. So, just solve that. So, it basically is minus 2 by 3 when you multiply with m must be equal to minus 1. So, the signs cancel and this 3 goes to the other side. m will be 3 to the above and 2 to the denominator so this answer will be 3 by 2 or 1.5 so this is the thing now the, we found the slope of the new uh, sidewalk now if you want to graph it you can graph it easily say for example plot the first point uh, plot the point which we know that is this over here the fountain 0 comma 1 and now what does the slope tell us dy by dx that means it has changed in the x direction by two units and y direction by three units since it's positive x will be in the right side a uh, right right side two units up sorry two units right and three units up so up by three units now what it means is you need to move two units to the right from here zero one and two so from zero you'll get two and three units up, so it will be one, two, three. So you will reach four because it's already at one. One plus three is four. Zero plus two is two. So you will get these two points, right? Now all you need to do is draw a straight line connecting those two points. That is the, sorry, that is the graph for the new sidewalk. So this is the thing. And now... We will see another problem where we need to write the equation. In the previous problem, it was just the graph. That's it. Now we will write the equation over here. Write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line parallel to y equals negative 3 by 4 x plus 3 containing the point minus 3 comma 6. First of all, let us understand what is the graph. Uh, sorry, slope. What is the slope? Not the graph. The slope over here, the equation is given minus 3 by 4 x. So this is the slope minus 3 by 4. Okay. Now, we know the slopes will be same for parallel lines. But we need to write the equation in the slope intercept form. 
If we recall the slope intercept form, let us see the slope intercept form over here. Y is equal to mx plus b. We know the slope is m, uh, slope is uh, over here. How do we find the b? That is the y intercept. How can we find it? They have given us the points x and y, isn't it? So now what you do is substitute the x and y values and the slope. Then you can find the b value. So all you are doing is the y value is 6 substitute over here equals minus 3 by 4. That's the slope and x is minus 3 given. Now find the b value. Look over here you need to multiply these both. You will get 6 equals minus minus becomes plus. So I'll not write it. It's plus. 9 by 4 plus b. Now what you have to do is to find b, you need to subtract 9 by 4 from 6. So this is the thing. How do you do it? You can do it directly in calculator. Otherwise, the denominator is 4. So 6 multiplied by 4 divided by 4 minus 9 by 4. You will get 24 by 4 minus 9 by 4. So always the easier way to uh, solve, you know, uh, fractions is what is the denominator over here? It is 4. So multiply and divide by 4 to the other side because it's only single. There's no fraction over here. So what happens over here is when there is no fraction in one side and when there is a fraction on the other side, this is the easiest method I feel. Whatever is the denominator, multiply and divide. Now, you have equated the denominators and over here, you will get 24 and this is you know you're you're just manipulating this divide and multiply by a same number is 1 so there is nothing wrong in this 24 by 4 minus 9 by 4 now denominator is 4 24 minus 9 will be 15 so answer will be 15 by 4 uh, so over here the b value is 15 by 4 so that's about 3.75. Now, we have to write it in the slope intercept form. We know the slope, we know the y intercept, and all you need to do is put it in the slope intercept form. y equals minus 3 by 4x plus b. So, this is the answer. So, this is how we can uh, write either a perpendicular or parallel line equations uh, just by knowing the slope. Remember, one important thing when parallel lines are there this is the uh, denotion generally okay anyway two straight lines is parallel lines the slopes are same okay equal but if it's perpendicular lines remember m into m the two slopes must give you negative one if you remember this then it's very easy so that's it. That's the end of this lesson. If you have any doubts, please put them in the comment section and I will try to answer your queries as soon as possible.